a yay or a no. knee deep into a Percy Jackson obsession. It was insane. Gosh, I'm just calling Wes Bennett. Y'all, I read way too many books with the main character West or Weston or whatever. Hey guys, it's Ems and welcome back to my reading room. I just started editing this video and I realized that I did not bring up that I am not in my reading room. This channel is like a reading room to me, so I do still consider it my reading room and like that's my intro, but I'm not in my reading room right now. I am currently staying somewhere else, so I'm not around all my books, but I will get back to y'all with my books soon. But I still wanted to do my reading wrap up for y'all, so all the books will be in pictures. And I also so if you know, you know, I literally in that video, like kind of right now too, I look like I'm in Taylor Swift's cleaning cart. Like, you know, you know, like this stuff. I literally look like I'm in her cleaning cart and I kind of do right now too. Today we are going to be doing my September and October wrap up. September and October have been very busy months for me. I had my birthday in October and September was just crazy in life in general. But I still wanted to get my two wrap ups to y'all because I love posting my wrap ups. This wrap up is going to be done kind of differently though. I do not have my books with me so all of them are going to be shown as pictures and I have 23 books to review. I read a lot in September, but I got so invested in the stories that I was reading, I literally was not talking about them anywhere except on TikTok. And in October, it was my birthday, we had homecoming week, it was just very busy. Because of all the busyness, I was not able to film the way I wanted to film, but I still want to get this kind of video out for y'all. So the way we're going to be doing this is I'm going to be giving y'all a yay or a no. yay. And there will be an in-between because I realize giving a yay or a nay is just as hard as giving a four five or 4.25. A lot of my books these past two months were four and fives because I was loving everything that I was reading. Let's get into it. The first book I read was Addicted to You, which is a part of the Addicted to You X Callaway Sisters series. I think that's what it's called. I have no idea. I have only read the first one. This one a yeah, 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 like a Y-E-H, yeah. Because it was not a meh, it was not a nay, but it was not a yay because I have not finished the series. I read the first one the like second day of September and then never went on with it. I think because I read it on Libby, I was like using it as just like a quick read and then never thought about the series again. I do hope that I can get into it because I literally was left on such a cliffhanger and I have no clue what happened. The next book I read in September was Wild Eyes by Elsie Silver and this was a yay. <laughs> like yeah 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 five stars west oh my gosh i'm just calling him west bennett y'all i read way too many books with the main character west or weston or whatever west belmont and skylar were everything i really love this story i don't want to go too much into detail but just so you know elsie silver is forever my favorite author and i love everything she writes and just the way she put rose hill into this second story was everything to me and emmy and ollie y'all they were the cutest and i love their dynamic so just yays all around the next two books i read were in a series it was finishing off the cruel prince trilogy i read the wicked king and the queen of nothing for the wicked king i gave it a meh because I did like it enough to keep going, but I wasn't like fully obsessed and I still wasn't in love with Jude yet. For The Queen of Nothing, I gave it a yay because I just had a way better time reading it and I really enjoyed Jude in that book. There were so many plot twists and kind of things that came wrapped up together that I really enjoyed with the last two books of the Cruel Prince trilogy. The next book I read was The Boyfriend Goal. This took me like three weeks or two weeks to read and it was a nay i personally did not love this story i think if i had read it at a different time maybe i would have loved it because it is a hockey romance i would still recommend it to anybody who loves hockey romance but it just was not for me then we move on to my obsessive crazy rick reardon phase i have never read a percy jackson book before and then i got sucked into the world of percy jackson and rick reardon i went into my school library looking for harry potter because i've heard harry potter is good to read in the fall months and i walked out knee deep into a percy jackson obsession it was insane i did not have any harry potter at my school library so i picked up the next best thing that i've heard about i read the first page of the percy jackson book and i checked it out and i have not looked back since. speaking of next book is the lightning thief i gave this a yay because it sent me down a spiral. I enjoyed it so much, not as much as some of the other books that I'm gonna get to, but I really liked it. And it made me wanna watch the series, which I have watched the series now 
and yes immediately yes but I'm just like obsessed with Percy Jackson now and it's like kind of insane next book I read was sea of monsters I gave a yay but it was a little bit higher of a yay than the lightning thief the titan's curse I gave a yeah I didn't love the titan's curse because I didn't get as much Percibeth as I love there was really good Percibeth moments but I missed Annabeth she's my girl and I missed her in that story the Battle of the Labyrinth I gave a yay but it is a pretty high yay because I really enjoyed that story. I think the labyrinth was such a cool idea in the book and I just loved the adventure and the mystery of it. This is the last book of Percy Jackson and the Olympians which was the last Olympian. I gave this a yay, super yay because it was a five stars. It was everything I wanted. It wrapped up so well and I do think that is an unpopular opinion but I really really liked it. Love the way that everything wrapped up and also leaded you on for more. This is still September, but I fell off of my Rick Riordan train and jumped into my Emily Henry train because I finally read Funny Story. This was a yeah. I read it on my Libby. I quickly got through it on my phone. It was so good. I had so much stuff underlined. I didn't really live up to the expectations that I had. I mean, I've been sitting on Funny Story for a really long time waiting for it to come through on my Libby, and I just didn't love it as much as I wanted to. I related to Daphne a lot. I had so many underlined things from her. Miles was not my favorite. I liked him a lot in the beginning, but then it kind of like switched gears on me, and I didn't know if I loved the way the story was going because of the plot, but it was still a good Good story and it was still written by Emily Henry so I loved it. So in September and I jumped right back into the Rick Riordan train that I was on and then we read the first Heroes of Olympus book The Lost Hero. I gave The Lost Hero a yay because I really enjoyed Jason, Piper, and Leo. Them as new characters and just finding out this whole new thing and where you don't even really know what's going on as a reader I love that. I think there was so much to learn and I love getting into new stories in a story line so meeting Jason and Piper and Leo just as characters I love Leo give me a I heart Leo vow this shirt give me a ladies love Leo shirt because I am ladies I love Leo there was never enough Leo in anything that he's ever been in there's never been enough because I need more give me a Leo book please Rick Rick please give me a Leo book please then we keep going with Heroes of Olympus and we get into the son of Neptune where I actually give this give this like a meh it was almost a yeah, but it was kind of a meh because I love Percy, which is where the yeah almost comes in, but I wasn't loving his perspective of this story. I think he was still perfect in every way because just his narrative and his character is just always going to be a yay to me. I just love him as a character in general, but I didn't love his plots in this book. I really loved meeting some of the new characters in this one. Some of the stuff he goes through in this book and learning just like so much new stuff for his brain was super cool and I did really enjoy that. Then we get to the Mark of Athena. Yay. Immediately yay. Annabeth? I love her so much as a character like she is literally inspiration now like if I write a book I want Annabeth as my main character like she's so good I just really enjoyed having her POV now and it was so good just the Mark of Athena is actually the last book that I read in September we are now going to jump into my October's year and A's, but don't worry there is still much much more Rick Riordan to get through first let's talk about House of Hades House of Hades was a yay like progressively louder yay like yay because it was so good i love the perspectives we got in this one i think having so many different characters in this story and kind of finalizing what you figure out in the mark of athena and kind of pulling it into house of hades and figuring out so much new stuff in october i didn't want to hit a slump so the next book i read was actually nothing like the movies we can't say that i got off the rick reardon train because i listened to the audiobook and charlie bushnell yay it was a five star book for me immediately yes immediately yay the time i read it was so conventional and i loved hearing charlie as wes having charlie read it in my ears so it was immediate five star like i loved it and whoever i can't remember her name whoever was playing liz also did an amazing job at narrating as someone who was not like the biggest fangirl of better than the movies i really really did enjoy nothing like the movies because i felt like there was so much more character and depth that i didn't really get in better than the movies so it was really nice to kind of dig deeper into their characters 
After I read Nothing Like the Movies, I then jumped right back into Heroes of Olympus and I finally finished the series out. There are five Heroes of Olympus books and we are talking about the fifth one, which is The Blood of Olympus. This was also a yay. I think because I was splitting between so many different genres in these couple months, some of the books I have just loved so much. Getting into new genres is always fun for me and adventure was such a good genre and just Rick Riordan's writing in general has been such a good stepping stone for my fantasy reading that I just like couldn't give a lot of the books and anything lower than four because I just loved them so much and that is where Blood of Olympus was a five star I love the way everything wrapped up I think there was super cool stuff in here and having new perspectives was everything to me I really enjoyed the two characters that ended up being prominent in this one and they're prominent in other books as well their two characters perspectives were everything to me and I really enjoyed getting to their storylines there were so many plots in here that I felt were fulfilled and just everything really tied up in a bow which made me super happy this is where people may may want to hit me but I then read the trials of Apollo I know that there is specific reading orders that people love but I just wanted to read the trials of Apollo really bad because I actually genuinely enjoy Apollo as a character and I wanted to see his story I heard really good things about it but I've also heard really bad things about it and I went into it with a open mind I thought of it as just a silly book and I didn't go into it kind of like wanting a lot from Apollo so I really enjoyed it the first one is the hidden oracle there are five books in the trials of Apollo series I gave it a yay this was one of my favorite starting off stories I thought there were such good plot points and some of the stuff had me literally gasping. The next book is obviously The Dark Prophecy, which is book number two. This one a yay, but a quieter yay, because it wasn't my favorite, but I did really enjoy it. I didn't love Apollo in these first couple books, but him as a character, I really loved seeing grow no matter what was going on. And some of the side characters in second and third one really just like spun along the plot for me. The next one is The Burning Maze. This is yay louder, because I really liked The Burning Maze. Apollo went on a big journey in this one and you really see him and the other characters find this love for each other in the last three they really set the tone for that in the burning maze and then we get to the tyrant's tomb which is number four gave this one a yay i didn't love the tyrant's tomb i think there was too much going on for my brain and i just didn't love seeing all the storylines intertwine as much as they did but I did really enjoy some of the friendships we get along the way and just the way Apollo is growing in these ones. We get to the last and final tries of Apollo book, The Tower of Nero, and oh, immediately, yes. I loved seeing the two main characters grow, Apollo find everything about himself, just kind of grow as a person and as a god. He really stepped up to the plate in this one, and I don't want any spoilers, so there I'm not going to tell you how he stepped at the plate but I do think he really stepped up to the plate and just really found himself I think the way it ended was everything for me and I almost wanted more which is surprising coming from someone who just read five books of that series I love the way Rick Riordan wraps up all his stories as you can tell I've probably given every fifth book a five stars just because I really enjoyed them and I just love the way he wraps it all up and ties some ends but leaves some ends loose. The Tower of Nero is a yes, 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 five stars, yes. This went by a lot quicker than expected but I do have one last book that I read in October. It was the Magnus Chase first book which is another Rick Riordan book, The Sword of Summer. This is where you get into Magnus Chase and the Asgards which is just another totally different gods part. Percy Jackson and Heroes of Olympus and all those are Roman and Greek and you get into Magnus Chase which is Asgard. I don't y'all I don't remember what it's considered but it's like Loki and Thor and those kind of gods I don't remember what they're called I'll try and put it here if I figure I gave the sword of summer a meh I actually didn't really love Magnus Chase I'm still trying to read the second one right now and I've been reading it for a while I'm trying to get through the series because I just really love Rick Riordan's writing in general but I don't love the plots that are taking place in some of the books but I do hope that I can get into it more when reading on. So for me, The Sword of Summer and Magnus Chase's first book was a met, but hopefully it becomes a yay or a yeah after the third one. That was the last book of October, and that means I just told you my entire wrap up for September and October. I know this was not the most conventional way of telling you what I enjoyed and how I liked the books, but it was the only way that I really wanted to do it because I read so many series and it's so hard to explain 
all of the series when everything is a spoiler. Like, starting from Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief, after every book, it's like, I feel like I'm spoiling it for somebody. I know you've probably all read it in the third grade, but I just feel that way and I love to do non-spoiler. I do want to talk about my November TBR a little bit because this went a lot faster than I expected because I didn't do wrap-ups or summaries and I only told you my feelings. So in November, I'm thinking of finishing Magnus Chase because that is what I'm on right now. I already read The Striker by Anna Huang chef's kiss we'll talk about that in my november wrap-up i want to read lost and lassoed <laughs> the x files i do want to read i don't know if i'm going to pick it up i have quicksilver on libby right now and i am hoping to get to that at some point i want to read more rick Rudin. if you want more in-depth reviews you can always check out my goodreads or now my fable these both have way more in-depth reviews of just like what i'm feeling i also have a tiktok where i do funny little videos or just talk about books i have a bookstagram where i have been trying to be more active but over september and october i did kind of let it fall off a bit because I literally had no time. I am hoping to get back into more of my reading stuff. I always love to talk about books and I can't wait to film more stuff for y'all. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye, see you later. And telling me